Hey guys, got a quick video here for you today. I just wanted to tell you about a really dirt cheap Pagoda antenna that I found. And yeah, this is just a generic Pagoda antenna. I think it's the Pagoda 2. And they come from MyRC Mart. They come in a pair like this for about, I think it was $7, $6.99. So it's like $3.50 each. And they're flexible somewhat, but uh, I wouldn't bend these on that braiding. I heard that that wears out. But it comes like this here. It's bare. No protection at all. So I know that people are saying that's going to be a downside. But I modded this one with uh, a couple of these 3D printed uh, spacer holder things and some heat shrink. And uh, that has held up pretty well. I've already crashed this one a few times. And I'll just show you how I put that together. These are, um, I'll put a link to the Thingiverse file on, uh, on the description, but they just go in like so. And so the thing is, you want to make sure that these plates are parallel, and so if you get a crash or whatever, then if these aren't there, they're going to get squished and change uh, shape, and that'll affect your reception. Um, these are printed in TPU, but I think you can just print these in PLA. It doesn't really, really matter as long as that they maintain the uh, space in between the discs and that, that they're parallel. I think that's the only thing that matters. Now, I've already flown this a few times and I did check the reception. It seems pretty good. Definitely better than uh, these Fox Ear antennas that I switched to. I, I'm going to start not using these anymore because I, I switched to these because I was flying these Amway antennas before, and as you can see, I have already lost a lobe here. Let's see if it'll focus. There used to be four, and now there's only three, so yeah, this antenna doesn't really work so well anymore. And this was even with uh, doing the epoxy mod. That didn't hold up so great. So, uh, yeah, these are these are two for 15 bucks. Um, great antenna, but uh, very fragile. So don't use these anymore. I switched to these and they kind of not so great. They're okay, but if you're in some tough situations, um, especially with a lot of reflections and stuff, these don't perform so good. These perform, I think, just about as good as the Amway antennas, maybe even better. Um, probably should do some sort of a test. But I don't have any more of these that are in good condition, unfortunately, and I'm not going to buy any more of these, so probably not going to do it a head-to-head -head test against this, so unfortunately uh, you're not going to see that video. I might do a head-to-head -head test against uh, maybe the Triumph antenna, so if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below. And um, yeah, I know that like if some of you guys don't have 3D printers, you're like, hey, you know, uh, it's just going to break. But then uh, I would say get like the Emacs Pagoda 2s, those are like 15 bucks for two, so then that way you, you get the protection. And uh, those are, uh, I think they're pretty, as far as I can tell, they're pretty much the same as these. I mean, they're all from the same design. And I'm sure there's going to be people out there going to criticize, like, oh, these are no good because they're $3.50 each. To me, they seem to be okay, and that's, that's like throwaway money to me. So uh, if you guys want to criticize that, then go ahead, go crazy in the comments and complain about a $3.50 antenna that works pretty good. Anyway, comes in longer sizes and also shorter sizes. Um, this is an RPS MA1, and this one is an SMA, so they come in two, two different sizes and two different versions. And really the only downside, other than, uh, you know, is uh, the um, lack of protection, which I think if you have a 3D printer and some heat shrink, yeah, I think you're good to go. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys this. I'll put links in the description to all this stuff, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.